No one likes to get friend zoned, especially when you're digging the guy on the other side of that friendly fence. So in this episode, I'm sharing two clear techniques to make sure he knows you're interested in more than just the friend of the year award. Let's talk about it. Hey ladies, Ty Harris here of Total Love Makeover, helping the dateless woman and the woman who finds herself in dead-end relationships revive her love life. Here on this channel, I offer practical but real advice to help you attract, date, and keep the kind of love you really want. So if that sounds like something you want and need, be sure to subscribe. And if at any point you want to know more about me, Total Love Makeover, or how we can work together, be sure to check the YouTube description notes below. Now let's jump in. Before I get into the juicy stuff, let me be clear. Sometimes a man friend zones you because he's simply not interested in building anything romantic with you. It could be anything from him not being physically attracted to you to him not thinking your personalities mesh romantically. Whatever his reasoning, sometimes the friend zone is an easier place to slot you than to be honest about what's really going on. So before attempting these two techniques, you may wanna be sure there's some kind of spark between you two first. If you haven't caught these, this episode and this episode may help with that. Now that that's out of the way, technique number one, plant the seed. Doesn't it suck when you know you're interested in something more and you're pretty sure he's interested in something more, but it's like neither of you know how to move things along? Here's where planting the seed really helps. I'm a firm believer that women should wait to see if a man pursues her before investing too much into something, but I also know that guys aren't always sure if we want to be pursued. So plant the seed by telling your guy friend something like this. We have so much fun talking like this. I bet if we were to go on an official date, it would be epic. Just to let you know, I'm totally up for it. Let him know that you think a more than friends date would end well, and also set him at ease by telling him it's what you want. Technique number two, talk to him like he is a hot prospect, girl. When we talk to our friends, we use certain terminology we wouldn't if we were talking to, let's say, a sexy man's. We say things like, that looks nice on you, or I couldn't wait to tell you, or I saw this and I thought of you. Well, instead of those friendly phases, put a slightly seductive twist on them to yield a totally different result. So instead of, that looks nice on you, say something like, yo, you look mad sexy in that. Mm-hmm, don't be scared. Instead of, I couldn't wait to tell you, say, all I wanted to do all day was talk to you. Instead of, I saw this and I thought of you. Try, somehow, you're always on my mind because this totally reminds me of you. Now, if those don't say I think we should be more than just friends, I don't know what does. Finally, technique number three, remind him, girl, that you are a woman. It's an amazing thing to be friends first, but you don't want to slide so far into being friends that he forgets he's got a sexy woman right beside him. You know what I mean? How do you do that? Use trigger language to subtly press his hot buttons. So a friend might say, that restaurant, it was so good. But girl, you might want to say, oh my goodness, that restaurant, seriously, better than sex. You say what? You heard me. That's a word that will make not only his ears, but his attention perk up. Trigger words like sex, sexy, orgasmic, naughty, and even hot are ultimately words that may make him blush upon hearing you say them, but they're normally connected in his mind, especially if he's heterosexual, with the type of woman he wants to be intimate with. And using trigger turns can often help him refocus to see you as that kind of woman. But let's be clear. You're not using the language to insinuate you want to engage in these acts with him. You're just throwing them out as descriptors, girl, adjectives, and jarring him enough to see you as a woman, not just a friend. Did you like this episode? Make sure to like it. And because Sharon is Karen, do that too. And of course, if you're ready to go deeper with me, jump over to totallovemakeover.com and join the mailing list I call The Dressing Room. Each week, I'm giving you one practical application to try that aren't always shared here on the YouTube channel. Remember, you can have the love you want. Sometimes you just have to do something different to get something different. And if you're ready to do the work, girl, I am more than willing to help you get there. Until next time.